Hi, my name is Terry Heffley, and I'm currently a sophomore at the University of Arkansas. With only being a couple hours away from Indianapolis, Indiana, I decided to choose a piece of artwork from the Indianapolis Museum of Art's current collection. The Indianapolis Museum of Art started as an ex exhibition of 453 works of art by 137 artists of on November 7, 1883. The Seawalls family that started the exhibition would see their efforts renamed to the Indianapolis Museum of Art in 1969. The piece of artwork that is chosen for the for my project was the Mobius ship by the American artist Tim Hawkinson. Tim Hawkinson was born in San Francisco, California in 1960. Hawkinson is well known for taking ordinary objects and turning them into extraordinary works of art with painstacking detail. In 1997, Hawkinson created an exact replica of a two inch tall skeleton with of a bird using his own fingernail clippings. His sculptures ranged from miniature to huge in size. One of Hawkinson's largest works of art is an arena-sized, fully functional bagpipe called the Ubergon. It is made from electrical hardware and miles of plastic sheeting. It plays music that ranges from hymns to modern, po modern pop songs. It performs once once an hour at each ex exhibition it is displayed at. The Mobius ship is comically named after the Mobius Strip. The Mobius Strip is a geometric surface that was discovered by a German mathematician August Ferdinand Mobius in 1858. The unique thing about the Mobius Strip is that it is, that it is non -or non orientable. If you were able to walk along the surface of the Mobius Strip, you would travel along both sides of the piece of paper while never having to cross an edge before you would return from where you started. The work of art by Hawkinson is also a tribute to one of America's best known novel, Moby Dick, written by Herman Melville. The never-ending geomet geometry of the Mobius Strip is an illustration of the Captain Ahab's relentless pursuit of the elusive white whale. The first thing one notices when looking at the Mobius, stri Mobius Ship is its unique geometric shape. At first glance, you would notice it is a base basic circular form. Examining the artwork further, you realize it is much more complex than just a circle. This work of art is recognized as a representational but in a non-naturalistic form. It is representational in the fact that Hawkinson goes into grave detail, into great detail in accurately portraying the element of a real ship. Hawkinson is known for his attention to detail no matter how big or how small the work of art. The work is obviously non-naturalistic in manner because of its geometric shape. However, Without the use of its non-naturalistic form, the work of art would not have near impact and meaning. The Mobius ship can also be analyzed using the, myth the mythology of deconstruction. One can wonder what Hawkinson used as he formed the ship. Was it done by looking at a real ship or a picture of a ship? How did he know how to proportion the work of art so that even through its unique shape, an observer would still appreciate the detail of the ship? One could also use second psychoanalysis to analyze the work of art. Detail deals with Im it deals with imagery, history, and creativity. The imagery of the piece would be its overall shape. The odd twists and turns the ship makes as it close closes back in one itself is an essential element. The history would have to do with what time era the ship was modeled after and from what region the world the ship came from. The combination of these two elements produces an obviously creative and aesthetically appealing piece of artwork. Because the meaning of the sculpture is so heavily based on the book Moby Dick, I would assume the piece of artwork would follow the classification of the book as being American romanticism. Romanticism, romanticism originated in Western Europe and the United States in the late 18th century and early 19th century. A work of art that is said to be romantic if it possesses the quality of time. If phrases such as long ago or far away imply a time in which the work was done and also location. L looking at the features of the Mobius ship, one could place an era in which the ship was modeled as well as the origin. The painting Raft of the Medusa by Theodore was also also follows some of the same features. The reason I chose the Mobius ship by Tim Hawkinson was simply because I thought it looked appealing and was something I could display in my own home. After being after beginning my research on the piece, I realized it was much more than what 
one would realize at first glance. Being very interested in mathematics myself, I would love the fact that the ship was modeled after the discovery of the ancient German mathematician August Fernand Mobius. I could also relate to the sculpture's meaning because I had to read the book Moby Dick. I was familiar with the story and the captain's Ahab's desire to catch the whale. This is the first work of art that I have ever analyzed and tried to discover the real meaning. In doing so for this work, I have learned that not all pieces of art are what they first appear to be. Never, You never know what influenced the artist as he was painting or sculpting. This project taught me to be curious as look at various artworks works of art and to ask questions and not just take it for what it appears to be.